If you are unsure as to what are some good things to say to someone with depression that won't backfire, then do know that there are ways to approach an individual who is currently experiencing a hardship that is mental, emotional, or physical. Depression is the result of a shortcoming or something that is preventing an individual to further them in life. Progressing relates to social, physical, emotional, and intellectual activity or how an individual feels as a whole. The best way to approach the situation is by initially asking the individual how they are feeling and whether or not there is something bothering them that they are uncomfortable telling you about. They may not feel comfortable telling you because of the way that they think you will react. It may relate to their relationship with you, or it may be the result of something that you could have had control over. If it does relate to you, then it is also your responsibility to act in a way that is sane and progressive. Avoid overreacting if their depression has to do with you and both of your relationships. If it pertains to an outside force, then comfort the individual and tell them that you won't judge their feelings of depression and why they are experiencing them. Everyone has experienced different things in people throughout their lives that have shaped them to be someone diverse, separate from you. What are some good things to say to a depressed person that won't backfire? Ask them what is bothering them and tell them that there is a way to overcome the feelings of hopelessness that they are enduring. If it is a physical illness, then you may have to frame your advice around their state of mind and how their optimism may aid them in recovering physically. If it relates to an event that they have recently endured, then tell them that there are many people who have overcome situations. With strength, they have the means to be happy again. The individual with depression should be reassured that there is hope in the world and that there is someone out there who truly cares about their very well-being. Remind them of all the achievements that they have made so that they feel a bit more significant when it comes to community. Taking a genuine interest without judgment in a person will not often backfire. If it is necessary, you can communicate with them through a letter. The easiest way to understand what someone is going through is by questioning their feelings and then putting yourself in their shoes. Seeing life through the eyes of another will allow you to feel the same emotions and contribute empathy to the comfort that you are giving to them. Don't put too much pressure on the individual if they don't have the strength to confide in you yet because they may just need time to heal and get over something that may have happened recently. Let them know that you are there for them, and when they are ready to confide in you, then you will help them throughout their depression. Things not to say to someone with depression. There are certain things you should never say to a depressed person, but it isn't always easy to recognize whether a friend or relative is experiencing a depression that is affecting them severely. As an outsider or a peer to someone who is undergoing depressive thoughts, you should recognize that they may be covering up more than you are aware of. If you have perceived them to be sensitive and more so than usual, then it may be because they have recently endured an event that has been painstaking. Depression is often a behavior that is uncommon with someone that you are close to, and it's a change in their level of activity, their optimism, focus, achievements, and the conversations that they have been having recently. The first idea that you should consider is speaking to them about their feelings and dig into what may really be bothering them. Depression is the result of a post-traumatic stress situation, a sickness, or an idea that often comes from the thought that people cannot change the situation that they are currently enduring. There are certain things you should never say to a depressed person so that you do not further their feelings of hopelessness. You should avoid a demeaning tone or telling the individual that they are not capable of doing something or overcoming a problem. The main cause of depression is feeling worthlessness or comprehending ill purpose. Without purpose, the human race does not feel satisfaction or a part of a community. You should avoid adding on to the insecurities or lack of care that they may be expressing because you could be completely unaware of whether or not they are having suicidal thoughts or tendencies. Be aware of small things that set them off and analyze their behavior a bit more. If there is a certain topic that they have been speaking of more than usual, then it may be the root or consequence of their depression. 
Avoid pessimistic words or advice because the way that you are acting is very contagious around someone who is currently feeling victimized. Never relate the depressed individual to someone who may currently be in a better or more successful position because it will inflate their feelings of weakness and worthlessness. Some reasons for depression relate to failure and lack of ability. When a physical weakness or a mental trauma is keeping someone from growing, then they do not want to be compared to someone who hasn't undergone the same problem or pain. Ask the individual if there's anything that you can do to help them with their problem, as it may relate to their relationship with you. It's common sense when it comes to avoiding certain topics as you are aware of how much of an impact words can affect someone and the way that they perceive themselves. Avoid criticizing their way of thinking or their physical attributes and avoid making comments that will further lower their self-esteem. 